comments? The R is silent, just don't speak. Say it. David, I'm David. And I'm standing in front of that again. So right here was good. So here we go. Um, as you probably noticed, I'm not originally from Hamburg. Um, apparently not, you're all surprised. Um, I've been living in Germany a long time though. I have, can you hear me back there? Good. I have uh, been living in almost exactly half my life in Germany. And I do speak German. Um, it seems just a bit easier to, to give this talk in English and uh, we're doing in English. So if you have questions afterwards you want, you'd rather ask in German, go ahead, it's no problem. So I also have a day job. <laughs> I am one of the owners and uh, managing directors of Ministry, a digital agency, as well as a, part, a few other, see some of the German comes through, some of the few uh, other communication uh, agencies and a game studio. By the way, the Imperfect, I can do too. I'll get that one. Nobody understood that. Okay. Don't worry. Um, Right, these companies we collectively call the Ministry Group or just Ministry, but tonight I'm here to talk to you about the Hacker School. And I'd like to start with the easiest thing about it, what we want to do. We want to inspire young people to learn programming. <coughs> That's it, simple. That's what we want to do. Why do we want to do it? Um, there's several aspects, I'll start I'll just do one tonight because 12 minutes isn't very long. Um, how many of you have trainees for software development? A few of you have to, absolute software has to, yeah, I imagine. Only a couple, okay. From the couple, I imagine you've probably also heard what I hear once in a while when a trainee or an applicant for a trainee position tells me what kind of experience he has <coughs> come, coming from school. Yeah, I've done, uh, I've worked with Microsoft products a lot, which I'm not going to name right now. Um, I search and use the web a lot, uh, and social media, and I play games. Okay, no programming at all? No. How do you know you would like to be a trainee in software development if you've never done any programming? Okay. <clears throat> Um, that's a problem. I mean, not, I mean, not a huge one. It's a, I mean, if people um, knew they, what programming is, then they'd probably choose better. Uh, but this doesn't mean it's not necessarily something for them. Maybe it is anyway. Um, another aspect of that, in last year, I don't if you remember, there were rumors going around about required computer science courses in Hamburg about not having them anymore. Do I need to say that in German so you understand? Pflichtfach uh, Informatik. Okay. Um, apparently that it hasn't happened. Apparently the courses are still there. Uh, I know now that the courses that are taught in schools um, in Pflichtfach Informatik it are um, Microsoft products, searching on the internet, <laughs> using social media. Uh, where's the programming? That's not what I expected. Um, how does anybody going to know that a talented programmer uh, or that can be fun if they don't get to know programming? So basically, I started thinking, if the state's not going to do something, maybe we should. And by we, I probably mean most people in this room, unless you're working for the city or the state or a teacher. Um, we need to do something, but what, what can we do? Kept thinking. Okay. What if we got motivated professional developers, software developers, to do the teaching? And what if um, their employers, assuming they're not self-employed, gave them time to do the teaching? That's kind of like a sponsorship 
Um, and other companies or the same companies gave us money or services and things like rooms and computers. This could work. And it could pay for itself, maybe. So I had this idea. And uh, I had this day job, which I still have, of course. And a lot of other things going on, so I just put it away for a while. Not very long, though, because um, last November I told Tim Peters, Peters, sorry, um, about this idea. And then I'm sure s several people here know Tim Peters. And if you know him, you know that if you tell him a good idea, you gotta watch out because it's gotta be done, and it's gotta be done fast, and there's no stopping. And he liked the idea. And luckily, one of my partners from ministry, Andreas, unfortunately both of them aren't here today, um, Black also wanted to be part of this project. And if it wasn't for them, this would still just be an idea. But instead, we started in January uh, with the hacker school and started planning the first session of classes um, for June 2014, which was last month, in case anybody didn't notice. At the same time, um, very important for, for the success of this are my other partners at, at ministry. And this is Marco. Marco's here tonight, by the way. Um, supported the idea so much that ministry could be the main sponsor of this, which not only gave us an address, but also a website, social media support, and uh, flyers, and basically PR support in every area. <clears throat> yeah, and then, what, how much time I left? Five minutes. Um, then we need to find these developers I was talking about and uh, other supporters. And we were completely amazed because immediately we had 20 people, software developers, who said, yeah, we'll be in the first session. We had lots of people who said, not this time, but next time, but 20 who said, yeah, we'll do it. We're there. One of them at least is here tonight. There he is, he just smiled. Right there, Andre. Um, fantastic, I mean, you know, what can you say about that? I uh, didn't expect that. We thought maybe we could just get a couple of classes going. Remember one thing that we said that we want to inspire young people? We don't want to teach them. We're not a real school, so we don't have teachers. And that's why we call these people inspirers and everybody else who will also do the same thing are inspirers for the hacker school. <laughs> Sorry if it, clean, it sounds tacky, but um, it's really what we're doing and what they're doing. Yeah. After that, several companies came and said, hey, we're gonna help, we'll give you rooms, we'll give you coachings, we'll give you financial support, uh, provide services and hardware, fantastic. And um, probably some private people as well, also by buying merchandise, but also gave money and hardware. And then we had to find the young people for this project. And that turned out to be the hardest thing at all, because we had 20 people ready to inspire, which turned out to be 13 classes for young people. Uh, that means 130, class, 130 people, young people, to be inspired, and we got 50. But 50 is not that bad. Unfortunately, part, uh, oh, I'm slipping in Germany, sorry. Uh, a couple of classes couldn't uh, take place, and that's sad, but what we noticed is that we were very successful. And I don't want to tell you why, I'd like to show you with a few pictures. There are girls there. Do you see it? No? Okay, I'll tell you, they're inspired. They were, uh, the inspirers managed really to motivate the kids. They had fun, they loved it, they want to be there the next time too. <clears throat> the next time we're doing it. So what are we gonna do? What is the next thing we're gonna do? We're, in the, we're planning right now, we're just, a couple weeks ago we just finished. Uh, and it was a lot of work, um, even though it was a simple idea. Um, there are several things being planned. What, of course, the uh, next session in Hamburg is uh, plan in planning. Uh, we have one going in Bremen, probably. 
in October. Uh, there have been people who asked if they can organize it in Frankfurt, uh, in Berlin, uh, and in Casablanca. I'm serious, really, <laughs> Casablanca. Um, like I said, our goal, I repeat it a third time now, is to inspire young people to learn programming, and you can do a lot of things with this. I mean, there's no limit, except for how many people volunteer to be inspired, how much financial support we get, and how many young people we reach. And we'd definitely like to reach more young people, especially those who might not otherwise find this talent that they, that they have. So, call it action, of course. If you would like to become a supporter or a volunteer as an inspirer or know a young person who wants uh, to be inspired or you are already doing something to inspire young people and would like us to spread the word about it, contact us or talk to, to us tonight. Talk to me tonight, definitely. And I'm finished, except for a video I would like to show. And I don't think it's 30 seconds.